practical guide to discovering the truth within yourself. Experiment with Truth is a course which does not concern itself with one particular philosophy or religion, but which embraces all religions and philosophies. Whatever you are doing at this time, sit down and relax. Give yourself time for your experiment with truth. Experiment with Truth, a course in ten parts, inspired by the techniques of Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. I bow to all the seekers of truth. Today's experiment with truth at the level of the brain, at the pituitary and pineal glands, is your experiment with thoughtless awareness. This energy center is known as Agya Chakra, or the door to paradise. It is located at the crossing of the optic nerves and controls a large portion of our brain. It has been called the door to paradise because above this is located the limbic area or Sahasrara chakra which integrates all inner functions and when awakened sends joy and deep peace throughout the entire nervous system. But before that can happen, the door to this paradise must be opened and that is today's experiment. One thing is important to understand, you cannot force it. The process of becoming one with truth is effortless. All pictures, music and sounds of nature have been carefully chosen to lift you in your own inner peace and freedom. You must only watch, listen and feel. What you feel is important. That is the experiment. Feel that pure desire in your heart to be one with truth. Before we come to the experimental part of the program, we will repeat the introduction. Now how can you experiment with truth? Truth is what it is. It cannot be changed and it cannot be conceptualized. But truth can be felt. Your own body is the instrument of truth. In every human being, energy centers are to be found on the autonomic nervous system. These centers are connected to every cell in the body through the nerves and are called chakras. The centers are a direct instrument of the truth. They reflect the destructive, as well as the constructive behavior of man towards his environment and towards himself. Fear, worry, stress, anger, greed, egotism, and so forth, irate the nerves in the body and overload the energy centers of your autonomic nervous system. With the help of the nervous system, one can discover the reasons for a positive or negative attitude to life and the reasons why sicknesses occur. How does that work? In the sacrum bone, just below the base of the spine, resides a power. This power is known as a female or motherly primordial power. And since ancient times, it is known as Kundalini. The limbic area on top of the head integrates all the systems in the body and is therefore the principal control center for the body. Your experiment with truth starts when your kundalini rises up through the spinal column to enlighten this limbic area. When this happens, a new dimension of perception is achieved through which you learn to understand the energy flow from your body to your hands. All the nerve centers and consequently all the organs reflect their condition in the hands and on each fingertip. Through this subtle system of perception, that is the system which registers the truth about everything, you are able to discern your own mastership and what should be your right conduct towards God, mankind and nature. Whatever you will now feel is information about the true conditions of your energy centers. And that is your experiment with truth. You can feel it in your hands. above your head, in your body, 
and in your heart. The awakening of Kundalini and man is the blossoming of the seeds which all the great incarnations have sown. Lord Krishna, Lord Rama, Lord Jesus, Lord Muhammad, Lord Confucius, Lord Lao Tse, Lord Buddha, Lord Jnanadeva, Guru Nanak, and others. Kundalini is the power which enlightens mankind. And through this, a new step in evolution is achieved. Her Holiness Srimataji Nirmala Devi has developed a simple method by which Kundalini, through her love, can be spontaneously, gently, and effortlessly awakened. Srimataji's desire is to give whosoever wishes it their enlightenment through this motherly primordial power. The easiest way to raise this majestic mother within you is to just put your right hand on top of your head as Srimataji is doing and ask Mother, please give me enlightenment. Srimataji calls this process Sahaja Yoga the spontaneous connection of our attention with the all-pervading power of love. Light is the natural element of the door to paradise and it helps you to become thoughtlessly aware. Accompany us into the nature and make your own experiment with thoughtless awareness. Please sit upright and relax, cross-legged on the floor if it is comfortable, or if you choose to sit on a chair, place the feet a little apart without shoes. Rest your hands, palms open and upward, on your lap. Watch and listen. This experiment is your own. Allow yourself to be led by the music, by the sounds and the pictures. They are timeless. They are here. They are in the present moment. And when you become one with them, you are one with the eternal present. Experience the absolute beauty of the all-pervading power of life. Make your own experiment with thoughtless awareness. Test your ability to realize your true self. When the Kundalini rises, you will feel a cool or perhaps a warm breeze on the palm of your hands, on your face, above your head, or perhaps a tingling in certain fingers, or similar sensations within your body. Truth will reveal itself to you on your very hands. So begins your experiment with truth. You feel the actual state of your own body, soul and spirit. Lao Tse. All streams flow to the sea because it is lower than they are. Humility gives it its power. If you want to govern the people, you must place yourself below them. If you want to lead the people, you must learn how to follow them. The birth of a revitalized brain due to the inflow of Kundalini energy arouses intense joy. But to feel this great amount of joy, you have to fulfill one condition. 
you have to be in the present. As Sri Mataji herself describes, First you develop a state, what we call as Nidvichar Samadhi, meaning thoughtless awareness. Means you are aware, but you are in the present, not in the future or in the past. Because in the present, the reality is there. And reality is so beautiful. By this happening, all your powers, which are potential, start manifesting.
Spirit is the source of truth, absolute truth. Your stress, your worries, all disappear. Because Spirit is the source of peace, people who have suffered mentally become absolutely peaceful. doubtless awareness. This is the second stage where you arrive, is the doubtless awareness, nirvikalpa samadhi, where you become very knowledgeable. The light of the Spirit enlightens your brain. What we know through human awareness is very little. But when the brain is enlightened, you start discovering new things. Meditation begins when you feel the cool breeze above your head. If you feel this cool breeze, you are thoughtlessly aware, joyful, satisfied, desireless, truly free, and you realize the beauty of your Absolute Self. If you have not felt this gentle coolness, there may still be some obstructions in your subtle system, and to clear this level of the Agya Chakra, you must unconditionally forgive. The nerves in this area become irritated and reveal the obstruction through tingling on the ring fingers, number six, or problems with the eyes. Headaches or psychological problems can also be indications of obstructions at this level. Sun or firelight can help you to remove obstacles at this level, and so you will become your own master because your own kundalini will show you if you become egoistical or act against your pure spirit. In truth, you are thoughtlessly aware in the present moment, so you will feel the coolness on your hands and head. If you do not feel the cool breeze and you want a clearer experience of your kundalini awakening, then the following exercise with Shrimataji will help. Please sit upright and relaxed, cross-legged on the floor or if you choose to sit on a chair, place the feet a little apart without shoes. Rest your hands, palms open and upward, on your lap. So now, raise your right hand on your forehead across and put down your head and press it on both the sides. Now here, say it with full confidence. Mother, I forgive everyone. From your heart, not how many times. Whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. But if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. It is a myth that you cannot forgive. Enjoy your forgiving. Just enjoy it. If you have the quality of forgiving within yourself, then it is acknowledged by a cool wind above your head. Forgiving is the message of Lord Jesus Christ. And for many Christians, Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi embodies the high moral values which Jesus demanded of his followers. Christ has said in the fifth chapter Matthews, that if your eye is doing some sinful thing, you take it out. If your right hand is doing something wrong, you cut it out. It's very difficult, I think, how many Christians would be left with their hands and their eyes if they followed Christ. So now, 
we have to understand that we have to become capable by our self-realization to be pure followers of these great incarnations. As human beings, we cannot follow these great ideals of religion. You may be a Christian, Hindu, Muslim, anything, you can commit any mistake. Once you are enlightened, you cannot do anything that is wrong, that is not righteous. You just become a very good Christian, I mean the real Christian, the real Hindu, the real Muslim. Whenever you feel this cool breeze, you are one with truth, and you can feel the truth that exists in all cultures. Try to feel the truth in the following affirmations. When the enlightened Buddha was assembled with his pupils, he gave them the following three mantras to repeat on their journey. Feel these mantras on your hands and in your body. I surrender to my enlightened awareness. Repeat this mantra three times. Buddham Sharanam Gachami Buddham Sharanam Gachami Buddham Sharanam Gachami Buddham Sharanam Gachami And again he spoke to his pupils. I surrender to virtuous conduct. Repeat this mantra three times. Dharmam Sharanam Gachami Dharmam Sharanam Gachami Dharmam Sharanam Gachami Dharmam Sharanam Gachami And a third time he shared enlightened knowledge with his pupils. I surrender to the enlightened collective consciousness. Repeat this mantra three times. Sangham Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami If your brain is dynamically and thoughtlessly aware, you will feel the cool breeze of truth. With your enlightened subtle system, you can feel the true nature of everything in your daily life.